born on February 12, 1996. He was nine pounds and four ounces. His parents were overjoyed to bring a new baby into this world. Josh's mom is named Sonia Hernandez. She is from El Paso, Texas. And his dad is named Carlos Hernandez. He is from Hermosillo, Mexico. They both met in church and dated for two years before getting married at the age of 20. Josh has three siblings. His older brother is named Jonathan. He is 21 years old. His little brother is named Jeremiah. He is 13. And his little sister is named Sadie, and she is 8 years old. His parents say that as a baby, Josh was very fussy and loud. As he grew older, he was very hyper, as every child is, and Josh loved to nap. His mom could never find him because he would be napping somewhere other than his bed. Josh loved animals, including his dog Julia, dinosaurs, and today elephants. Plus, he loved to sing. He also loves to learn, which explains why he is so smart. He went to many elementary schools. He went to Bologna Elementary, Santan Elementary, and Ryan Elementary School. When he was in third grade at Santan Elementary, he had this giant crush on his teacher, Miss Gardner. His favorite childhood memory was going to Grandma's house. She probably had amazing food and cookies waiting for him. Josh grew up in a Christian home where he learned to love God and his family. Josh is very different from other people because he is very ambitious and creative. He also has many hidden talents. He likes to draw, sing, and write music. One thing you may not know about Josh is that he is extremely private, but once you get to know him, he will open up to you. His favorite colors are black, white, gray, red, blue, and navy. His favorite drink is Sprite, and his favorite food is lasagna and he can eat the nachos from the news every day. Josh is very extroverted and loves to hang out with his friends. When he was in junior high at Santana, he was friends with all the popular kids, which made him realize that he wanted to be respected and liked for who he is instead of who he is friends with. Josh is very independent today. He has a job at Rubio's, he does his own laundry, and he pays for gas. So he is very ready to start college and start his own life independently. The weirdest thing that he has ever done before was had a picnic at a cemetery. He loves to shop online and basically anywhere with a deal. Josh loves his clothes and his hair. In fact, if there was a fire in his house, the first thing he would save would be his clothes. The craziest hairstyle he had to live with was that he shaved his hair freshman year, and something tells me he did not like that style. Josh's high school career was filled with parties and friends. He loved to be social, and he loved to be very outgoing. I've known Josh Hernandez for all four years of high school, and it's safe to say that he is one of my best friends. I met him for the first time in Mr. Witten's class freshman year, and ever since then, he has never failed to put a smile on my face. He's probably one of the funniest guys I know, and that's one of the many things I love about him. I don't just have one favorite memory with Josh, but many over these past couple of years that have created a bond between us that I will never forget. I'm going to miss him so much when we go off to college, but I hope we stay in contact and our friendship continues to grow. I met Josh my freshman year, and ever since then he's just been a really great friend, and whenever I'm down, he always knows what to say to make me feel better, and he's really funny, he can always make me laugh, and he just has a really great head on his shoulders, and I'm really proud of everything he's been doing these last four years. He's very determined and smart, and he's going to go places. Joshua is a caring, loving son uh, who thinks about how I feel and what I think, and that's very important to him. He is also uh, strong-willed and intelligent, and that can be quite challenging sometimes. What I see in Joshua's future is bigger than what I can imagine. I know that Joshua has a lot of plans um, that he has devised himself 
that I know that there is a bigger plan and a bigger purpose for him. And I know that he is going to find that purpose. And with him finding his purpose, he's going to be a great help, not only for his family, um, hopefully for his wife and kids as well, and for everybody who is around him. Friends, uh, I believe even the people who don't know him are going to be touched by what um, Josh is going to accomplish in his lifetime. Josh's life is filled with family and friends. They all love him for who he is and what he does. Speaking of what he did, when Josh was 14, he broke his foot when he fell off a construction site. So you can say he's not very graceful. In school, Josh is not a procrastinator, but he likes to be pressured to do things on time. He feels like it motivates him to finish an assignment, which pressured him to get his license later on. He likes to take tests because he feels like it is a game to finish and see what you know. After high school, Josh wants to become a famous music artist. In order to achieve that goal, he has to go to Chandler Gilbert Community College for two years, and during that time, he wants to work in a bank to save money. He also wants to take classes at Chandler Gilbert to see if he could receive a scholarship at San Diego State. Josh feels like going to a California school would benefit him and the music department more than going to any other school. If any reason he chooses not to go into music, he will major in business at ASU W.P. Carey. Josh likes R&B music. He likes Frank Ocean, The Weeknd, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Kanye West. The symbol of the phoenix means rebirth and to start new. He wants to use it as symbolism in his music. The phoenix also resembles an insult. Josh wants to start fresh and start life as a new person right after school. In fact, if his music career takes off, he wants to change his last name from Hernandez to Avalon. Josh can't wait to be 25 because that is when you're getting your life together and start to venture out. He can't wait to be independent and do his own thing. Josh, I hope you can succeed in life and go and follow your dream. You are an easy person to talk to. You are very nice and a fun person to be around. I hope one day that you will find you are happy with whatever you are doing in life. Cause you ain't around, baby, my heart.